I found this amazing utility to help me level my printer's bed, but I don't know how to get it to work with my printer. Behold, the power of the Printer Info Wizard. With this, you'll be able to connect the Bed Leveler 5000 to any printer. Wow, that's incredible! Today, s and Makers is proud to introduce the Printer Info Wizard, a support utility for the Bed Leveler 5000. This utility greatly simplifies the process of creating new Bed Leveler 5000 printer information files. If you're not already familiar with Bed Leveler 5000, I suggest you watch our previous video where we explain Bed Leveler 5000 and what it does. With our printer information wizard, you will be able to set your printer's connection settings, adjust its automatic bed leveling mesh size, and record its screw locations. The printer info wizard supports connecting directly to your printer to test connection settings and also to query the printer for screw locations, all without needing to know any G code, computer programming, or complex file formats. The Printer Info Wizard is a relatively simple utility designed to be as straightforward and as easy to use as possible. At the top of the dialog, we have a standard menu bar providing file operations, COM port operations, and help information. Below that, we have the port combo box with a COM port to use when connecting to the printer is specified. The COM port name is specific to your computer, not your printer. So while you need to set it to use most of the printer info wizard, it is not saved in the printer info files. The COM port list is not updated automatically if you plug in a new printer, but you can click the enumerate action in the ports menu to have it show up. Next to the port combo box, we have the defaults button, which resets all fields except for the COM port back to default values. And a home button, which can be used to home the printer. More on that later. Next, we have the printer info fields themselves. First, there is a display name field where the name for the printer model is specified. Below that, we have the serial connection settings. This is the most important part of the utility because these settings allow the printer info wizard and the bed leveler 5000 to actually communicate with your printer. You can test the serial connection settings with the test button there is no need to worry about trying incorrect settings. You can safely test as many times as needed. To the right, we have the automatic bed leveling mesh settings, where the number of rows and columns of the grids are specified. At the bottom of the utility, we have the manual test point section, which greatly simplifies the task of specifying screw and other manual test point locations. I would now like to demonstrate creating a new printer info file for this Elegoon Neptune 3 Max printer. While we'll be using this printer for the video, the utility and Bed Lover 5000 should work with any Marlin 2 printer. Support for Clipper and other G-code based printers is planned for the future. The first step in creating the file is connecting your computer to the printer. The second step is opening the printer info wizard. When you first open the utility, the fields are filled in with default values. You can load the values from an existing printer info file, but today we are going to create a file starting from the default values. If you've already loaded an existing file or edited some of the fields, you can go back to the defaults by clicking the defaults button. The third step is setting the COM port field. For most computers connected to only a single printer, there will only be one COM port listed. Next, we'll fill in the printer's display name. This is the printer model name displayed in Bed Leveler 5000. Next, we will configure the serial port settings, the first being the G code flavor. Eventually, Bed Leveler 5000 will support Clipper and other firmware types. But for right now, it only supports Marlin 2. The rest of the connection settings are all fairly standard for modern devices using serial over USB. If you do need to change a setting, it will most likely be the baud rate. 
Once we think the connection settings are correct, we can test them with the test button. If the settings are correct, you should get a success message almost immediately. Do not worry about testing with incorrect settings, however. You will only get a failure message after a short timeout, and then you can try different settings. At this point, the rest of the printer info wizard features, which communicate with the printer, are usable. While not required, I recommend you now click the home button. When most printers are turned on, they don't know their current X, Y, and Z locations. By homing now, we are ensuring that the printer moves correctly and provides accurate values. Now that homing is finished, let's set automatic bed leveling grid size. The Elegoo Neptune 3 Max's grid has seven columns and nine rows. The printer info wizard does not communicate with the printer during this step. The final settings specify the locations of the printer's manual bed leveling screws and other manual test locations. Each cell represents a relative location on the print bed. So the lower left cell represents the front left portion of the print bed and the top right cell represents the back right. Let's configure the front left screw location. First, we click on the cell to open the configure grid point dialog. Next, we can give this point a name. To match the name used on the printer's LCD, let's enter a one. If you happen to know the exact X and Y values for the desired point, you can enter them directly. Otherwise, you can have the utility query the printer. To do this, first use the printer's LCD to move the printer to the desired location. Then, click the query button, and assuming the printer connection settings are correct, the X and Y fields will be filled in with the HUD-IN's current location. Once you are happy with the values, click OK to record them, or click Cancel to leave them unchanged. The Neptune 3 Max has six other points that we need to set. There's point two, point three, point four, point five, point six, and finally, the home location. Now that all of the printer settings have been filled in, the last step is to save the file. To do this, we go to File Save As, enter file name, and click Save. Please remember to perform an automatic bed leveling prior to using Bed Leveler 5000, since a mesh is required to use the utility. To verify the printer settings are correct, let's launch Bed Leveler 5000. We can see that the new printer is listed in the printer drop down list. Let's connect to the printer. And move to a manual test point. Well, there you have it. The brand new printer info wizard. I hope you find it helpful when creating printer info files for the bed leveler 5000. Before you go, if you haven't already, please subscribe and like this video so you can be the first to learn about our future videos, printer modifications, and enhancements to Bed Leveler 5000. Thanks for watching.